Hi, and welcome back. So according to the international team of researchers who ran this particular study, the one I'm going to tell you all about today, eating a diet rich in vegetables, seafood and whole grains appear to slow the signs of accelerated brain aging, typically seen in obesity with as little as 1% loss in body weight. Brain scans taken after 18 months showed the participants' brain age appearing almost nine months younger than was expected. This when compared to estimates of their brain's chronological age. Like the participants in this clinical trial, you might not feel as old as the years you've already lived. Or perhaps your body feels like it's aging faster than you think it should be. This, in very simplistic terms, is the difference between biological and chronological age. Either way, research shows your body's biological age is much more than just the way you feel. Signs of biological aging can be found dotted along your DNA, etched into the ends of your chromosomes, or as this new study now says, in the loosening connections of your brain. While a growing number of research suggests that biological aging brought on by stressful events could be reversed, but this new study shows that improving your diet may be one of the simplest things that you can do to improve your body's condition, irrespective of your age. In the study, the researchers imaged the brains of 102 participants who were also taking part in a larger clinical trial conducted at a workplace in Israel. Brain scans were taken once before the trial and again after 18 months, as well as a battery of tests on liver function, cholesterol levels, and also their body weight. The group ate one of three diets. The first was a specific type of Mediterranean diet. It contained a lot of nuts, fish, and chicken instead of red meat. Second, the game was a Mediterranean diet, this time with a few added extras, such as green tea for the polyphenols. And third was a diet based on healthy dietary guidelines. Estimates of brain age were based on an algorithm that had been trained on brain scans from a separate cohort of nearly 300 people. The model accurately predicted age from people's brains connectivity. On average, people in the trial lost around 2.3 kilos. But what about their biological age? Well, for every 1% of body weight that was lost after following one of the three diets, the participants' brains appeared almost nine months younger than their chronological age. This is what the research found. Whether changes in brain connectivity actually translate to improvements in brain function is still unfortunately unknown. The brain is a complex web of flexible connections that are still being mapped out. Signs of slowed brain aging were also associated with lower levels of liver fat and an improved lipid profile. But again, these changes could be superficial or even short-lived. The lead author of the study and neuroscientist Gideon Levikov of the Ben Gurion University said, our study highlights the importance of a healthy lifestyle, including lower consumption of processed foods, sweets and beverages in maintaining brain health. That might be sound advice. And although these findings are from a clinical trial where participants were randomly prescribed a diet to follow, there are few other limitations worth digesting. No pun intended. Now, as with many of the, these types of studies that I have reviewed, there is obviously one constant. That constant being that no matter what type of diet is being studied, Mediterranean, keto, vegan, to name a few, each one highlights the importance of a lower intake of ultra processed foods. Most of the participants in this particular study were men. Now they filled out online surveys about their diet and their lifestyle habits, meaning the data may be skewed by what they could recall or even what they chose to report. They also recorded their activity levels at work. And they also received a free membership to a gym as part of the trial. So exercise was also a factor too. Past research has shown that good fats usually contained in a Mediterranean diet work on a cellular level, but it has also exposed some discrepancies in who reaps the health benefits of a diet that is rich in Mediterranean staples. People with well-paid jobs and higher education who can afford to buy lots of fish and whole grains saw greater improvements in their cardiovascular health than those on low incomes, even if their adherence to the diet was exactly the same. Again, these are all epidemiological studies whose data at best can always be questioned. I think that people in the main who do take control of their health tend to focus on what they think 
is healthy food. So foods that are low in fat, or maybe they're labeled organic. But as their journey to improved health continues, they learn that the kinds of foods they eat are not as important as the amount of processing that that food has gone through before it lands on their plate. You should always try and eat a whole food diet. And if your food does come from a tin or a packet, then read the ingredients label. Look for things that you can't pronounce. Also look at the sugar and the added sugar content too.